everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to talk about the stock that y'all should keep in your watch list for next week for a massive rebound i'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped those stocks of interest in the comment section of friday's morning's video now before we begin again do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in and also don't forget to click on that subscribe button along with that notification bell that way you don't miss out on these daily videos let's get started right off the bat um you got the spy over here today is saturday therefore the futures market is closed all right now what happened on friday again as i talked about in my last video i was watching it and i was leaning to the bear side i definitely definitely was and the one thing that um, i was looking for was for a break below this previous level massive buyer stepped in between like 8 to 9 between 7 a.m and 8 30 a.m central time before the market opened they tried to make another attempt to the downside right here right over here but it just could not collapse and later on from this um, bullish pennant on the chart which broke out to the upside right over here something that i told y'all to watch um with especially on thursday night i told y'all to watch the nasdaq and i use a different kind of trend line all right i use this one right over here because it looked good to in either direction it looked good to the short side and it looked good to the uh, long side i was leaning more bearish i was waiting for this thing to collapse but the same pattern that i just showed you on the nasdaq also showed up on on the same pattern that i showed you on the spy also showed up on nasdaq and it broke to the upside right over here you see it broke through that trend and later on that day it pretty much did a retest and then a lot of buyers stepped in during the last hour and a half of the market session all right um as of right now as of where things stand do i think that this is the bottom before we see a recovery to the upside before we see a massive move towards like 15 500 right towards this region i think i think we might see it I think that more buyers are going to step in on Monday. We'll see how the futures market opens on Sunday. I think it will be. I, I think it will be bullish. I definitely, I definitely do. It's hard for me to be bearish on a structure like that, on a structure like this where it breaks out with tremendous volume and closes strong at the highs. It's very hard for me to be bullish in the overall market. So, definitely watch the market for like. For more for more momentum to the upside i will cover this again later on during the week now the stock that y'all should keep on your watch list for a massive massive rebound next week that stock is hd home depot all right and the reason why i want to share this one with all of you is because it got crushed from the highs of 420 all the way down to the previous highs of 344 dollars right and as soon as it got there there was a massive bullish engulfing candle for those of y'all who have difficulties reading the charts this is it right here the combination of these two candles right over here bullish engulfing candle all right and then what happened next again we're going to zoom in the pattern that i saw which i really really liked is on the one hour if you zoom in right over here and you take your drawing tool you can clearly see that there is a bullish rectangle on the chart right here and right here right there all right and it broke out like on friday in the afternoon definitely watch hd for a move for it to open up either at the same price or at like 369 before it pushes higher towards 380 maybe even 384 on monday all right i'm not bearish on this structure at all definitely keep in your watchers it's a very reputable company kind of strong too it's kind of strong so definitely watch this one for a move 
up that high. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. Again, you always ask some wonderful questions. The first one that we're going to address in today's video, that stock is BA. All right, and BA had earnings. Boeing had earnings. The reaction was, it started out good and then there was an immediate sell off right afterwards for the last three days. And right now, let me look at the bigger picture. All right, and right now we're still in that flag. We're still in that giant bull flag. This is actually a pretty good place to like, this is a good place to actually start buying. All right, um, this is a good place. The reason why I say that is because there's that lower gap at the bottom left right here, which got filled, which is nice, right? Um, B has been, it has, it struggled recently, like within the past month, it has, it's been struggling, um, lack of uptrend, lack of consistency, but the, but the bull flag is there. It's there. It's just cooking right now. Again, it's cooking for a very long time. Eventually, it's going to start making its way and it's going to start moving up here. But right now, this is a phenomenal spot to either average in as a long term investor and even as a trader. Watch this thing for a bounce. And somebody could also argue that there is a left shoulder, a head, and a potentially right shoulder, which may be started literally like right now. All right, so definitely watch BA for a recovery to at least 200 and like, to at least 200, let's just say to at least 200. It could go a little higher. Now, another stock that we have to address today, somebody mentioned in the comment section, uh, what do you think about Roblox, all right? Now with Roblox, it has, it fell by more than like 60%. I think this is a 66, maybe a 70% drop. Let's see, from here, from the 140s all the way down to 54, 60% drop. Not, not, not too bad, not too bad. The gap got filled before and it just kept going lower and lower and lower. Right now, the volume at the bottom, it's not the biggest volume. Um, it's not higher than this one right here. And it's not so, it's not super, super high like this right here, this volume, but don't ignore this one. I definitely think that it could have some upside next week. Again, if the market kind of recovers, this one could bounce as well, all the way up to at least $65, but to at least $63. And if it stays there, if it stays right over here, right there as a green candle, this is a morning star, right? And then what happens next, usually what happens next is just a continuation to the upside where this thing just keeps going. So again, keep this one on your watches for that. It may happen, it may happen. It's a little too soon, but it's it's definitely worth watching. And especially for you long-term investors out there, again, this this is a place where you, you, you buy shares. This is like when you see a 70% drop on a stock like Roblox, not a terrible company, right? It's not a trashy company, it's a good company. This is where you actually want to start at least like dollar cost averaging in because it's on a tremendous discount. Again, this is for the long-term investors. Now, the next one that we're going to talk about, I'm actually going to do an update on uh, on AMD. And AMD, that one is a little tricky. It is. The reason why I say that is because on the one hour, in my last video, I told y'all to watch it for a potential drop. And I actually drew these schemes over here, which looks, which, it looks a bit suspect, like it really, really does. Suspect for shorts. Um, longs my long my longs might take this one over because that line right there, if it breaks, and it opens up at like 109, right? And if the flash crash in the morning, like the five minute dip, doesn't stay and doesn't get down here, like all the way down to 103, shorts shorts are gonna get squeezed. Definitely watch that one and be careful. Be careful if you're shorting. Again, this thing may be, as you can see, this is it's taking option two, not option one. Where we'll retest this thing and then will it drop on Monday? This thing is following the market and the market looks like buyers are stepping in. So I would say it's highly unlikely, I would say, but we never know. 
we never know. Keep this one on your watch list. If it gives another opportunity, like if it if it stays here at the same price and then drops, that that would be that would mean that the market is just being generous and giving a second chance for short sellers to like get out to just break even before it runs back up. Like so just just watch for that. Just watch for that. So that's my honest thoughts on the stock, and that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, it helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are brand new to the channel and you haven't done so already, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on these post-market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon and the pre-market analysis videos which are released from Monday to Friday at exactly 8.20 a.m. Central Time, all right? If you'd like to be part of a private Discord community, you can find that at the first link in the description of the video below. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul Laguma and at Penology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is brand new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, which I honestly think is a pretty good time, given the fact that a lot of stocks have been beaten down. I think it's like more than half of um, the stocks of the NASDAQ are down by more than 50%. If you're interested in getting started, now would be a pretty good time. I left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks that lead up to $1,850 right after signing up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Pedanology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video.